I had a request to make some pictures of some snares, but instead I'll just do a video. This is my typical river snare. And there's a total of five feet of cable here. And what it has, it's got a washer lock. That's my snare lock. It's got a number six. It's a hex nut. Just zinc plated. Further down the line here, it's got another nut. And what that is, is that's a deer stop. So when this loop closes, it can't go any tighter than that. That's all the tighter it can go. So if a deer does manage to get in this, he can just pull right back out of it. In some states you have to have that by law. Iowa is one of those states. Got my deer stop. Go on up the cable here. Get your copper trap tag. It's held on by a, a hog ring. It's made out of steel. You can buy those at a local hardware store or veterinary supply. I've got my snare swivel. I've got a number six washer right there. It's just a little flat washer, sink plated. Then I've got another number six nut. Then I'm attached to some nine wire to an oak stake. This is typically what I'd use in the water for raccoon or beaver. To make these snares is pretty easy, pretty cheap lot cheaper. The more cable you buy, the cheaper it's going to be. The lock itself is nothing but a washer. Just a plain old steel washer. Don't get a zinc one. Don't get anything that's shiny. You just want a plain steel one. I've rigged up a bolt. And what I do is I take uh, some vice grips or just put this large washer in a vise and I'll stack a whole bunch of those washers on this bolt and I'll stack them clear up to here and I'll tighten the nut down and I'll get them all pretty much uniform put it in the vise and then I'll, I'll take a 764 drill bit because this is 330 seconds cable and I'll drill down one side, clear through. I'll drill down the other side, clear through. You'll undo them. You'll pull them out. You'll have a hole on each side. You'll file off the burrs if there are any. And then you'll take them over to the vise. One at a time, two at a time, however many you can get in there. But you'll put this thing in halfway in the vise and then you'll fold it over. But what you want to do is you want to have one hole in the vise and one hole sticking up out of the vise. And then just bend it over at 90 degrees. Don't go any further. Just 90 is where it needs to be. And then you've got your snare locks. And you can sit and you can make these things way cheaper than you can buy them. It just takes time. You just got time to do it. your snare swivels I didn't even know about these things a few years ago but when I first got into snares I always used ferrules and I don't like ferrules anymore because the swivels are better but this is an aluminum ferrule these things are kind of expensive if you're buying a whole bunch of them but they do work they work well and they're already made here's one I made out of a nut you smash the nut drill two holes it serves the same purpose, just as strong and way cheaper. As far as your swivels go, here's one that's been stretched out, kind of like the one that was on the snare. It's, it will still work. 
it's stretched. So here's what one looks like before they get stretched. It's nice and round. You're going to take a piece of... My best measurement on this wire is it was a number 12 or a number 10. I can't get an exact measurement on it. But you're going to wrap this around this pipe. And you're going to do it almost at exact length. The, the closer you are, the better it's going to be. And you're going to crisscross them like that. Probably even more. And this is your swivel tool. It's got a hole clear through the center. It's a T. This is solid metal. This is a pipe. In the end of it, it's got a notch cut. You're going to put this pin through that pipe. You're going to go back to your other pipe and your piece of wire. And you want this to run in between the two pieces of wire. So you'll have one going across the bottom of the pin and one going across the top of the pin. And you're going to go clear up as far as you can. And you're going to start turning. You're going to go until it's round. It's done. You're going to pull that pin out. Slide it off. You got a swivel. These things in number 10 or number 12 wire, they are very hard to straighten. But it can be done if you're pulling, if you're using your snare to pull your snake or stake out. But they're very good. Make your cable last a lot longer. So that's your snare tool. Uh, I think that thing, I bet I paid 20 bucks for that thing years and years ago. I don't know what they cost now, but it's a pretty good tool. And once again, you can buy a whole roll of that wire at a hardware store for not a whole lot of money. Pretty cheap. And then just cut it into lengths that you know that you want. How long you want the shaft to be on your swivel. Uh, the, the length of that doesn't really matter so much. You want it just enough so that when they do pull on the snare that they just don't unravel the thing. It is pretty tough to unravel them, but if you get it too short, it, it could be done. So on in my heavier snares, we were talking about the ferrules. And this is an eighth inch snare this is what I would use for coyote this one has never been used this is just for demonstration purposes only you notice there is no deer stop on this like I said I don't use it I just have it hanging on the wall but what I used to use is eighth inch snare for coyote and it's a much stronger cable um, it will damage beaver it will damage coon and it's too stiff to work for those animals anyways. It's got the same kind of lock, larger nuts on each end. There should be a deer stop here. This is an aluminum ferrule like I was talking about and I don't use a swivel on a coyote snare because they are very hard on them. Um, they will severely stress these things out. So I always make sure that whatever I tie this thing to, uh, it's pretty solid. Um, coyotes do not like to spin and flop around like a raccoon or a beaver. Beavers are a nightmare on these snares. 332nd snare set up like this. This one went through a raccoon. This is what this big kink is from. But if this was on a beaver, it's, it'd be done. You get... Uh, I know at the time I made these, I made a whole bunch of these, probably 200 of these things, and it ended up costing me 33 cents per snare to make them myself with these uh, lesser quality components. But if you're going to use it once and the thing's destroyed, cut your cable, keep your lock, keep your tag, go make another snare. <laughs>